Hey everyone, I hope this video finds you well and enjoying your week. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Christopher. It is so nice to have you join us. If you like lifestyle, luxury, skincare, product reviews, planning and organization, stop and look no further because this channel is for you. So go ahead and click that little red subscribe button. And if you are following me here, you might as well hop on over to my Instagram and follow me there as well. We have an awesome community over there. I post daily, we comment back and forth daily. Um, we just are having a lot of fun and I would love to catch up with you over on Instagram as well. I am so excited to bring May favorites to you today. I have a lot of things I've been loving in May and I'm so excited to share them with you. And just like you've requested, I have a plethora of things, skincare, health, wellness, books, music, planner stuff, a bag. It's just a great mix of things. Also, you know that I will link everything down below for you to just make your life as easy as possible. So without further ado, I'm going to jump on in. The first topic we're going to talk about is skincare and fragrances and beauty. So I'm excited to talk about some of the things that I have been loving. The first two things I'm going to talk about are from Himalayan Essentials. And one is a rose water and rose extract three in one cleansing lotion. And the other one is an oil cleanser. I bought these while I was in Antwerp, Belgium, just because I thought the packaging was beautiful. And I was like, hey, I'm going to give it a try. And I've been looking for a good oil cleanser. Now, I will tell you, this oil cleanser is absolutely amazing. It also works really well for like a makeup remover. Um, I've noticed like if I ever have anything on my face, like this takes it off so quickly and so cleanly. And it is so beautifully scented. It is recommended for all skin types. So don't be worried if you have oily skin to use a cleansing oil, because let me tell you, this absorbs in really well. It leaves your skin feeling really fresh. Absolutely no residue. The only problems, my friends, I've been looking for this to reorder it in the United States and I cannot find anywhere to buy it. So I will keep looking and looking and looking and hopefully be able to find some links for you, but it is really, really fantastic. The next thing I wanna talk about is the three-in-one cleansing rose water and rose extract. If you like the scent of roses, you will love this. What I love specifically about this cleansing lotion, it also has your toner built into it as well. So not only do you get the benefits of a really nice deep cleanse, but you also get the benefits of a toner as well and I will tell you I've been using this pretty frequently and I have seen some really nice like tightening and firming of the skin around my eyes specifically around the edges and right at the bottoms I've definitely seen a difference each time I use this and I've been using it in the morning and I'm just finding that anything that I put on afterwards just applies so much smoother so this has been pretty much my go-to cleanser and then I've been using the oil in the evenings just for a little bit more hydration before I put on my La Mer soft cream and serums. have been loving that. But I will tell you, this is phenomenal, especially if you are a person who loves that rose fragrance. It will leave your skin feeling a lot more toned. I'm just loving, loving this product. The next thing I need to talk about is something from Glossier, and it is something that I wanted to get because I heard a lot of good reviews on it, and it is the Boy Brow, and it's in the color Blonde. A lot of brow gels that are blonde end up being on the orangey side. This isn't, it is a perfect blonde color. Now, you know that I am in the process of getting microblading done and I am on the wait list. The girl that I'm going to is like fully booked, but I have an appointment for later in June because I have no tails of my eyebrows. Here they're really nice and thick, but as they go out towards the tails, they like pretty much disappear. So I have been using this boy brow from Glossier and let me tell you, it is fantastic. And a little bit goes a long way. So when I go ahead and take out the applicator, I scrape off any excess, then I apply it. Then I go in with a separate spoolie that is clean and just feather it through, brushing the opposite way to get my brows really fluffy and then pushing them back into place. I'm getting a really nice full brow that is slightly darker, 
but still looks really, really natural. For any of you struggling to find a good blonde brow gel, the Boy Brow from Glossier is the way to go. I absolutely love it and highly recommend it. Go check it out. Another product that I have been loving has been the Diptyque Body Polish. Now this is the smaller one. I have finally almost hit the bottom of this, so I've ordered the larger container of the body polish. I have tried many like exfoliating scrubs, but this one from Diptyque, they did such a good job with it. It is a really great gentle exfoliant. I will tell you my skin looks more luminous and it is so much smoother. I have been using this consistently when I've been bathing probably at least twice a week and I've seen such a difference in my elbows, on my arms, just how much softer my skin feels and I have been loving it. It is a really, really gentle exfoliating and the smell is amazing. Like I said, I had this small size. I've just purchased the large. This is the best body polish I have come across and I would highly recommend you try it. Um, you can't really go wrong with Diptyque. Everything I try from them is just phenomenal. But Diptyque's body polish, check it out if you're looking for an exfoliant that will leave your skin luminous, bright, and really, really smooth. The last thing I have in the beauty skincare fragrance section is a fragrance that I've fallen in love with, and the only thing that I'm sad about is that I am almost out of it. I've literally almost used this entire bottle in the month of May, and that is the Barreto Gypsy Water. This fragrance is absolutely fantastic. It has notes of bergamot, lemon, pepper, pine, and then a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of berry. It is just the perfect scent for spring. I am absolutely in love with it. What I really love is after the dry down, you definitely get notes of amber as well, and it just helps balance it all out. But what I really love is the little hint of pepper that I mentioned. You always get just that little scent of like black pepper in it, which just like really keeps it rounded and spicy and helps balance out everything. It's just an amazing fragrance. I already know I have to get a much larger bottle. I also think that this fragrance translates from season to season really, really well. I can see this being worn in the fall. I think it works in the spring. I think it works in the summer. I love it. And also their packaging is absolutely stunning. So like even when it's just sitting on your shelf, it just feels really luxurious. I am in love with this. If you're not familiar with Burrito Scents, I would definitely check out Gypsy Water. There's another one called Super Cedar that is absolutely fantastic as well. That is on my wish list. Um, hopefully I will soon acquire it. But this has been my favorite fragrance, definitely, for the entire month of May. All right, so now it is time to talk about tech favorites. And actually only one thing stood out for me this month that I acquired that has truly become a tech favorite. And that is the UE Roll Waterproof Bluetooth Speaker. This little speaker, not only can you throw it in a pool, but we hang it in our shower over the shower head. This is by far the best Bluetooth speaker we have ever, ever purchased. It runs about $100, maybe a little bit less, maybe like 80, but the sound from this little speaker is absolutely fantastic. We have bought several Bluetooth speakers. We have the Jambox and all of those, but I will tell you, none of them compare to this. I would literally set this outside for an entire party because it gives off that much sound. I am absolutely in love with it. Check out UE Roll, you won't regret it. I do not love the color waves they come in, but because the sound is so great, I can totally, totally forgive them. Next I'm, going, next I'm going to talk about two of my favorite books for the month. And one of them would be one that I just recently finished. And it is by Frederick Bachman, who also wrote The Man Called Ove, which I haven't read yet. But this one is called My Grandmother Asked Me to Tell You She's Sorry. This is about a seven-year-old girl whose grandmother passes away and she finds a series of notes of people that her grandmother wants to apologize to for doing wrong. And the girl tracks them down and apologizes on behalf of her grandmother. It is a beautiful story. It is slow to start. I know some of us had a conversation about this over on Instagram. You have to stick with it. I will tell you it starts a little slow, but once you are in it, it becomes such a beautiful story. I cried many times. I think it's just 
a wonderful, wonderful story. It has made me want to read A Man Called Ove, which is on my list for June. Um, but yeah, my grandmother asked me to tell you I'm, she's sorry is a fantastic pick for me. Another book that came as a total surprise in May, I just happened to pick it up, and that is from Kelly Osborne, and there is no effing secret. Um, I have always really admired her to know what she has struggled with in her past with drugs, alcohol, weight, um, and to kind of see her mature into this young, confident woman has been really inspiring. So I just was walking through the bookstore and I came across it was like, I'm going to read it. It is so well written and so real and so honest and so vulnerable that like my respect for her has only gone through the roof. What I took away from this book is we are all flawed. There's not a single one of us that isn't. It is how you respond to your flaws and how you still view yourself despite your flaws. And to really look at those as opportunities for growth, look at them as opportunities to be better yourself and to just become stronger. Her story is fantastic. It is a total surprise because I didn't expect it. I picked it up on a whim and I am so happy that I did. This is all right, my planner nerds, I have not forgotten about you. As you know, May was the month of bullet journaling for me. It is where I started it and have fallen madly, madly in love with bullet journaling. I love the creativity it lends itself to. I love that I can make my planner exactly what I need it to be. And then I also fell in love with the Tombow dual brush pens. So what these pens have is they have a brush tip so you can get that really nice calligraphy and then they also have a dual tip which is more of like your typical marker point which is a lot finer and I just love them. They also allow you to blend and get like a little bit of a watercolor effect or an ombre effect. You can literally YouTube like Tombow blending and you can see how to videos on how to blend but I bought these in three different sets so I have the secondary palette, the bright palette, and then this is my favorite one. This is the grayscale palette, and they're just shades of gray with like one that's like a grayish beige. I love these. You know that my bullet journal for June has become very simple with just black. This grayscale palette really just complements the simplistic, minimalist way I'm working in my June spread. In my bullet journal, I'll make sure to leave that video linked down below as well. But these pens have become one of my favorites. I also love using these now because my handwriting is getting so much better. I love using these to decorate cards for people's birthdays and anniversaries and any other celebration. I'm just obsessed with these. Tombow dual brush pens worth every single penny. One thing I decided to add in this month's favorite are some kitchen favorites that I have fallen in love with in May. You are always asking me over on Instagram, like what are your favorite wines? And now that we're shifting into summer, I will start leaving the red wines behind and start going towards more rosés. And in May, I found the best rosé I have ever, ever tasted. I love it so much and it is also in the most beautiful bottle ever. And it is called Eternal Paradise Côte de Provence Rosé. Um, I mean, when you look at the bottle, you will always remember what it looks like when you're in search of it at the store. Um, but it is absolutely delicious. It's a little bit on the drier side. It's not sweet. I have some right here, actually. Really smooth. Um, it's delicious. If you like rosé, you will love this. This is just a nice transition into summer. Um, yeah, and I'll be enjoying this bottle this week as I have some alone time as Stephen is traveling. So, Eternal Paradise Quartz de Provence rosé, delicious. So, in the month of May, I was really looking for a new protein shake. Uh, I really upped my workouts this month, and I just needed something. Um, and I had tried Shakeology. I had tried every shake probably out there. And one thing that we all know about them is they are so stinking expensive. So I was walking around Target and I have been using Ollie Vitamins for a long time, but I had no idea that they also made protein shakes. It is completely plant-based and it also comes in salted caramel chocolate. 
Let me tell you, my friends, this is $28. There's 20 servings in it, and it is absolutely delicious. I have fallen in love with it. It is the one shake that it literally keeps me filled up for quite some time. I throw one scoop of it in my smoothie every single day, and I have that after my workout, and I have been loving it. I will also tell you, sometimes I'll take a scoop and measure it out in a plastic bag and take it to work with me for a snack, and it is the only shake that I've ever actually been able to just add water, shake it up, and drink it, and it still tastes delicious. This is just the way to go. Go to your Target, go to the vitamin section, where they have the Ali brand, you will find this smoothie mix, and it is so great. It is plant-based, it is organic, it tastes delicious. This Slimming Protein Salted Caramel shake is just, oh, it's so good. And some nights when you just need like a little bit of sweet or like you're having a craving for ice cream, water, this, some ice in a blender, it's like you're having a milkshake. Go check it out. It's so reasonable, it's so delicious. I have one more kitchen thing to share with you, and it has been a game changer. I found it at Williams-Sonoma. I picked it up thinking if I use it once or twice, great. I use it all the time. It is a chopper. I have never chopped onions again. So basically, it has a blade in it. You stick the blade down, you put whatever vegetable, I've done peppers, I've done jalapenos for guacamole. Most of the time I use it for onions because who wants to cut onions and have tears and all that? You put your vegetable in here that you're chopping and then you just pull on this cord, it spins the blade, it chops it up as finely as you need it. If you need a rough chop, just spin it a couple times. I make pico de gallo in this, I do everything in this thing. Throw it in the dishwasher, clean it up, it is good to go. This little thing from Williams Sonoma is a complete game changer in the kitchen and saves you so much time. I do have a bag favorite, but one thing you guys asked on my last favorites was for me to share music and TV shows or a movie that I have really been enjoying. So it'll be no surprise if you follow me on Instagram, if you watch any of my vlogs, I have been obsessed with Netflix version of Anne of Green Gables. It's called Anne with an E. It is so well done. I almost didn't watch it, but let me tell you, the actors playing the characters are as good as the Megan Follows version that we all remember so well. So I have watched the whole season now three times, two times on my own, and then while my parents were here over Memorial Day, my mom, dad, and I watched the entire series again. They, they loved it. I loved it. We cried. It was amazing. And with a knee on Netflix. Check it out. It is seven episodes. It is fantastic. The girl who plays Anne is so absolutely incredible. It has given me a whole new perspective of that character. Um, and the liberties they did take with the book were spot on for a TV series. So well done. Well done. Um, and next, songs that I have been loving. So here's the exciting thing. I am going to start making a Spotify playlist of all my May favorite tunes. So I will leave the Spotify playlist linked down below. It's also linked over on my Instagram, so please go check it out. I will tell you, this month's playlist is totally rad. It is a great playlist. The songs are awesome. A good mix of upbeat, a good mix of some slow. It was just a great month for music. But I'm not gonna lie. My playlist for this month sounds like a teenage girl, and I am okay with it because the songs were really great with great messages. So, here are the top four songs for May. Haley Steinfeld, Most Girls, awesome message about girl empowerment. I really love it. I think every girl should just sing it at the top of their lungs. I sing it at the top of my lungs. Selena Gomez, Bad Liar. I don't like Selena Gomez. I've never been a fan. I shouldn't say I don't like her. I mean, she's a lovely person. I'm sure I don't know her. But I've never been a fan of her music. Um, but Bad Liar, it won me over. I'm really enjoying it. Julia Michaels' Issues. You guys already know if you've watched any of my vlogs how much I've been loving that song. And then my last vlog from, I think, two weeks ago, um, someone commented that Miley Cyrus' Balaboo was playing on loop in the background the entire vlog. That's because it has been a favorite this month. I think it's such a cute summer song. I think the story behind it with her relationship with Liam, yes, I'm that trendy and in the know to know about their relationship. Um, 
I really, really love it. I'm glad that she's kind of like cleaned up the act a little bit, um, and her voice is really unique, and I really enjoyed the song. My favorite album, though, for the entire month of May, she reminds me a lot of Francis. You know how I feel about that album. I think that might be, that's still my favorite album of 2017 so far. Um, but the album would be Safe Haven by Ruth B. Very much a similar sound, really great, smart music. I love it. Absolutely love it. I put a couple of her songs on the May playlist. Go check it out. It's linked down below. It's an awesome Spotify playlist, if I do say so myself. Lastly, I have a bag favorite to share with you. This was a bag that I acquired over the month of May, and I used it pretty much the entire month, um, except I did finally transition back to my Birkin for work, and that is the Matt and Nat Dieter Tote. Um, it's from the Dwell collection, and it is in this beautiful gray color, and it is completely vegan. So the leather is not leather, it is completely vegan friendly, and what is so interesting is when you get to the lining, and hold on, I have paper stuffed in it. The lining is made out of 100% plastic recycled bottles. So let me walk you through the bag. My biggest complaint about it is it's not very deep. So once you get your laptop in here, any paperwork, it is pretty much full. But what I love about it is on the inside there's a cell phone slip pocket, a zipper pocket to secure some items, and then just one nice big tote. I often am carrying it top handle. In the back there's this very nice magnetic deep, deep pocket. Um, but there's also this nice shoulder strap that you can wear at cross body. Um, my initial thoughts on it were that I disliked it right off the bat, but the more that I used it, the more that I fell in love with it. The color is really unique, um, and for a vegan non-leather bag, I think the quality is pretty high. Um, the stitching is really solid. The bag feels really solid when you're carrying stuff. Like I said, the only complaint about this would be the depth. Here's the deal about the Dieter Dwell tote though. I found it on Amazon, ordered it, primed it, got it really quick, then went online to see if they had it in different colors on the MatNet site. They no longer make the Dieter Dwell, but I just checked out on eBay. They have three of these colors in brand new condition and a couple other colors, and they're going for about $79. I paid $119. They're in beautiful condition. I highly recommend if you're interested in this to go check it out. But it is a really nice size bag, but just know that you're not getting a ton of depth with it. Um, but as far as quality, it's up there. And for the fact that it is vegan, it's pretty remarkable. And I've gotten a lot of compliments on it. Um, but yeah, this is my bag for May. I really, really enjoyed it. All right, my friends, those are my favorite things for the month of May. I think we have a good mix of things and all things that I truly, truly used a lot. Um, and that's a great feeling that I'm sharing truly the things that I loved this month in May. But I will let you go. But remember, everything is linked down below along with the Spotify playlist. And I will leave this video like I leave all of my videos. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, my friends, bye-bye. Now, if you are still watching this video and you comment down below, Random Act of Kindness is happening within the next two weeks.